is Amazon's MMO New World bricks yeah. some RTX 3090s with EVGA FTW 3s apparently being particularly affected. So the closed beta started on July 20th, and after that time, several reports of bricked 3090s cropped up. And so this is a quote. So after hitting the play button for New World Beta, the game started to load, followed immediately by fan speeds increasing to 100%, FPS dropping to zero, and then my monitor's turning off, and my video card is no longer detected. So I reboot the PC, and everything seemed to work fine. I even tried a few other games to make sure I had no problems. So I hit play on New World again, and same thing happens, but this time I heard a loud pop, and now my 3090 won't get past post on boot up. And this is from Goats from the New World Forums. Other users are reporting similar behavior, either waiting in login queue or even while playing. It appears to mostly affect EVGA FTW 3s. Uh, not but... only, just a little asterisk there. Mostly, but not only. Yep. Sorry, keep going. And Jay's Two Cents tested it himself yesterday and couldn't get it to happen, but did find interesting results. The card seemed to be overdrawing power by more than just 1% or 2%, even when not at 100% usage. Uh, he later tweeted that other GPUs are encountering the issue as well, but this is considered to be kind of less confirmed at this point. People are speculating that the un that uncapped frame rates are the issue and think it might be similar to what happened with StarCraft II back in 2008. But given that it could happen during gameplay, that doesn't seem like it would entirely explain the issue. Uh, Amazon did put out a statement saying hundreds of thousands of people played in the New World closed beta yesterday with millions of total hours played. We received a few reports of players using high performance graphic cards and experiencing hardware failure when playing New World. New World makes standard DirectX calls as provided by the Windows API. I don't know if it's a, is it a Windows API DirectX? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We have seen no indication of widespread issues with 3090s either in the beta or during our many months of alpha testing. It is safe to play. Um, and in order to further reassure players, we will implement a patch today that caps frames per second in our menu screen. We are grateful for your support, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And EVGA has confirmed that it will replace all bricked GPUs. Can I, I just it... say, oh, go ahead. So I, I think I know what you're going into and yes, very cool. But before that, I love that Amazon tries to counter the fact that 3090s specifically are having issues like popping and, and yeah. freaking blowing up. They try to counter that by saying hundreds of thousands of people played the new world's closed beta. How many of those people have 3090s? Yeah. Stop it. Probably like very few. Come on. I mean, like, we know what? that for a Get fact. Get off it. Oh my goodness. Can Sorry, I just say going. that just because EVGA's card fails doesn't mean that you should be like, uh, 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 EVGA bad. Because if I'm going to have a GPU that accidentally, you know, experiences some kind of unforeseen issue, I'd be pretty happy it's an EVGA because I know that they're going to deal with it. This this reminds me a lot of, remember when we did those tours? We did uh, we did Sennheiser and we did Omron mm -hmm. way back in the day. Both companies really wanted to hide their their failed production. Yeah. And we were like, no, this is cool. This shows that you have like a good system in place to not ship failed yeah. products. You have users. standards. <laughs> And, and this is a good thing. This is the this is one of those type of situations, in my opinion. Yep. This would make me want to buy an EVGA graphics card. Yeah, we're not this crapping on EVGA. Reason, no, this is great. This is what you you want. This this is a very very like, um, like. I don't know what phrase to use for it, but oh, but just there we go. EVGA is taking the high road. Hundred percent taking the high road. They That's responded cool. very quickly. They reassured their very dedicated customers, these are people buying extremely expensive GPUs, that they'll be okay, they're going to get a new graphics card. That is extremely cool. Yep. And reasons like this are, I think, one of the reasons why EVJ has really strong uh, customer loyalty. Yeah, they've got a great reputation. Uh, and they they've, been, they've been behaving this way for a lot, a lot, they a lot of years. Yeah, yeah, I've told my story about my like mineral oil thing many times. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs>